What is up everybody? Thanks so much for joining me. I've been really busy today. I went and visited the goat again. You know, just on my mail route, delivering mail, and this goat is always there the certain day when I deliver on that route. Because I do basically five different routes. I'm a relief guy. Anyways, me and Abby have been working on a really cool project that I don't want to tell you guys about yet. I mean, once we see how it turns out, then I'll let you guys know. But, I mean, I've just been stacking up the packages. This one supreme item, I'm going to save that for the next video. So make sure you subscribe, hit the little bell notification. So that you know when a new video is releasing hit the like button if you like the content and yeah We're gonna get into it. The first thing that's come in that I've been waiting to open is this slim shady shirt um, pretty shady Packaging if you ask me like that's barely even staying together I don't know what Kid Cudi's thinking, but it's all good I mean he just hired somebody to do it and I'm actually gonna save this one I'm not gonna open it up and put it on for all you people you guys can check out people who've been wearing it But I will show you the tags just so you have another option to see a legit one Underneath the plastic you've got That text on the back of the neck there That's printed on and then a little sticker tag down in the corner. And yeah, just a standard screen printing. Big face there. <laughs> if I find an outfit that I want to wear this with, I definitely will. But for now, I'm just going to put it on hold. I mean, I'm already working six days a week. And so I don't really have a whole lot of time anyways. I mean, today I pulled another 10-hour shift. Tomorrow, probably going to be looking at the same thing. But anyways, enough about that. I do work for the post office. Eric Emanuel is somebody who I've been following like crazy lately. He does all of his work in small batches, all ethical and everything, all made in the state of New York. I've got a ton of shorts already. I have one pair on the way from his latest drop, but then his stamps shorts. I let him know, hey, I work for the post office. Make sure I get hooked up with the pair. It's been hard to grab them sometime. And he's like, I'll make sure you grab a pair. This one he told me, and he looked at this. He sent me some stamps with it. And then you've got your, your Eric Emanuel receipt that comes with it. Giving stamps to everybody who orders. So I got some forever stamps I can use. Oh yeah, Eric Emanuel totally refunded me for these and just sent them. I should probably note that. He hooked me up. He's such a nice guy. Looking out for, uh, for us little people, you know, just our postal workers. Come on, we need that. We need that love. But uh, anyways, here's the plastic. You got your medium sticker down there as always with Eric Emanuel. And then the shorts. I'm actually not gonna wear these either. Sorry, I'm just opening much stuff and not even trying it on. But yeah, that's a size medium. These ones here, uh, psh, literally they fit true to size, I would say. They are kind of like lacrosse shorts. Or I would say they're exactly like lacrosse shorts. These ones though, they don't have an EE printed on it anywhere. I mean, besides on the actual stamp down in the corner on the bottom left, you don't have that EE. These ones are a bit different. Maybe some different from fits they might fit with or just wear them around the house they're pretty chill if you want to help support my place of employment go ahead buy some stamps and some stuff whatever and uh, now we're gonna get into the item I actually did want to wear and I'm really excited for this one this one actually showed up yesterday me and my wife were already in the middle of working on this project so I was just like all right I'm just gonna make this video tomorrow which is today right okay Oh, anybody like the new hair? I think it's kind of crazy. Had to perm it up, give it a try. All right, so with Palace, you always get a return shipping form. You get your receipt a lot of times, a sticker receipt. I don't think I've ever had an order where they didn't give me that. And then you normally get a sticker. Yep, there we go. You either get a black one or a white one, and then you can't even see like the the logo or anything on there. So it's a clear sticker with the white logo. So far, it's only been these stickers, black or white, and it's just like 50-50 chance. But I've been getting a lot of black ones lately. It's kind of cool to get another white one. And here we go. We got our Ziploc bag. It's pretty sturdy. It's not quite as sturdy as the Supreme Ziploc bags, but really, really close. You've got your Palace Triferg printed right on there. And then you got some warning information on the back. Pretty silly. Palace warning, do not place over your head. It is not a transportation space hat. Dangerous suffocation, keep away from babies and children too. They are not ready for palace yet. <laughs> Here's the sticker down at the bottom of that plastic bag. Anybody who wants to see that sticker for legit checking purposes. Whenever you're buying uh, from the secondary market, you do want to make sure you get all that packaging, all those little, you know, plastic and everything, just so you can be more confident that what you're getting is authentic. But really, the piece is what mainly matters. People can have legit packaging and not have uh, 
legit items in the packaging. They can try and pull one over you. Yeah, people have tried a lot of things with me. I'm getting a lot better at it, but you know, I still lose out on money every once in a while. But anyways, I did grab this from the Palace website at drop time, the uh, Tri Crusher. I think that's what this one is called. As you can see, that skull is getting totally crushed by the Tri Fur, just infecting the mind. And uh, that's what Palace likes to try and do. You almost have a better view of it here because when it's printed huge, you know, close up, it's kind of weird, but I guess further away, it looks more legit. I guess probably on screen, it probably looks way better or something like that. But anyways, uh, we'll go ahead and look at the tag behind the neck. They always do this triangle, this palace triangle, triferg looking sort of, I guess. So you got size large right there. And then on the inside, bottom left, you got your tag. There's the back of the tank for y'all. Try Crusher hoodie. Hopefully the people in Vietnam are being paid a living wage or uh, are being treated fairly. Anyways, for the quality of this hoodie, I wouldn't say it's as thick as a Supreme hoodie. It's still good quality. It feels all right. It feels nice and cozy. The hood is double layered, so that's good for you to keep your ears warm and whatnot. And then yeah, this fabric on here, I mean, it could be softer underneath. It could be a little more cozy, but I guess this one is just thinner in general, just a lighter weight material. I'm gonna throw it on. Let's see, I might just destroy my hair, but I don't really care. Whatever. Ugh. Yeah, I was thinking that it was gonna be more of a pink, but it's kind of almost totally on the red side. I mean, if you put it up against this Supreme Red, it totally looks pink still, but you got that giant graphic on the back, just, so bold, so loud. And then the sleeve length on this is really nice for a size large. I wouldn't say it's really that much oversized at all. So if you want to order a Tri Crusher hoodie, I would say order true to size for yourself. I normally would wear a large size hoodie, just have kind of this bigger oversized look, but then also have enough room for my 73 inch reach. And also when you're trying to stay warm, having loose clothing is gonna keep you a lot warmer. That's just how it is. If it's really tight clothes, then you know, the weather penetrates a lot easier. Anyways, I do want to shoot some positivity at you guys before I end the video. I'm going to read a quote from Margaret Mead. Never doubt that a small group of thoughtful, committed citizens can change the world. Indeed, it is the only thing that ever has. Oh my goodness. You just think about societies that were changed or that their culture was completely shifted from what it was before and you see how that started. It always starts with a small group. And I'm gonna challenge all of you guys, I'm challenging myself, let's be that small group of people that are just attacking life, going after our dreams, really doing those things that we feel that we need to do with our lives. Not things that people tell you to do or things that people have said will make you a good person, but no, actually going after those things in your heart that you wanna see change or the things that you wanna accomplish. But then at the same time, thinking about everybody else's ethics in the whole world, thinking about how you can go after your ambitions and your dreams and elevate all of humanity along with you. So yeah, let's bring this world up, lift it up higher, you know? Let's go make some positive changes with each interaction in every moment that we possibly can. Anyways, love y'all, peace.